Okay, so this is a Ross Edge Fit. I'm just about to go into uh, my workout for the day. Today is going to be uh, Edge Fit Fran, which is uh, basically a kettlebell version um, of the CrossFit workout Fran. Uh, slightly different in the fact that um, the the weight is slightly different um, with the working with the sport bells. Uh, we can't get 95 pounds, um, so the choices is really 88 pounds or 106. 106 is a little stiff on thrusters um, when you're working with two independent loads. Um, so we've chosen the 88 pounds or 244 pound kettlebells, 220 kilogram kettlebells um, for the Fran, the Edge Fit Fran. Um, also, the uh, the rep range is slightly different. Um, we're going to go instead of going 21, 15, and 9 as they do in CrossFit. Um, I like to keep the numbers even, so uh, our numbers are going to be 20, 16, and 12. Um, but the workout's going to be the same. It's going to be a uh, squat thruster um, and pull-ups. Um, you can use obviously a kipin pull-up or a butterfly pull-up. Um, the reason I'm standing outside, one, because the music is pretty loud in there. I want you to be able to hear me. Um, and two, is because I'm, I'm pretty nervous. Um, I've done Fran before and it sucks. And uh, I, I know this is going to suck. I haven't done edge fit Fran before. Um, not at this weight at least. Um, done something similar with a lighter weight. Um, but today is the first time for me on this one. So uh, uh, a little anxious, um, a little nervous about it. Nervous in a good way. I'm hoping for a good time. The, the thrusters are feeling pretty heavy in the warm up. So I don't know how it's going to go. But would like to go sub 5. That might be pushing it. Um, we'll see my fastest Fran time with a barbell. Um, the CrossFit Fran is, uh, I think, 428. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going get, to get that today. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, um, check it out.
just finished the uh, edge fit fran. It felt just about as rough as a crossfit fran. Uh, Philip point at this point in the time, he was at uh, 5.40. Like I said, I was wanting sub five. I thought that might have been a bit of a push first time out. Um, uh, it, was, it was very tough. The, the pull-ups weren't too bad other than the fact that I was getting fatigued from the thrusters. Uh, the thrusters were really hard. Uh, I managed to get the first round unbroken, uh, but then the second round, so I'm going to break them up a little bit. Uh, the big difference you feel in the, the thruster uh, with two kettlebells, um, especially sport bells as opposed to barbell, is that load is so far in front of you. I feel like it tends to fatigue your arms a lot more because you're not you're not resting like you would with the with the barbell. You get to rest the bar on the on the clavicles on the shoulders a little bit. With the kettlebells, you're pretty much holding them the whole time, um, so that really just fatigues the the arms more, I think, and also the, the fact that they're independent. Um, I'm not saying it's harder than the barbell, I'm just saying it's different. Um, the other thing, the other big difference is that because the, the sport belts are so big and they're so far out in front of you, um, you get a lot more lower back fatigue because um, your body is really having to counterbalance the whole load out in front of you as opposed to with the barbell where the plates are out to the side of you and, and resting across the, the chest, loading the body a little bit more evenly. So. Those are the big differences. Uh, I enjoyed those. Re really good, really tough. Um, I would advise people to give it a try. Uh, send us your times. Um, we'd love to love to uh, hear what people are doing on this. If you try it out, uh, I'd love to see somebody beat my time as well. That would be great. Um, the the one the one thing we have you have to do if you do the workout has to be with uh, kettlebell sport bells because um, it's going to be a lot easier if you use even use the same weight with a smaller kettlebell. So they have to be sport bells, um, and you have to get, you know, chin over the bar with the pull-ups, full squat on the thruster, uh, full lockout. So if you think you can do that, try it out. Uh, send us your time, send us a video, we'd love to see it. Until uh, next time, cheers.